Hey, Nick here, reviewing the game Tormentum Dark Sorrow. It's available on Windows and Mac on Steam for $11.99. Let's get started with saying this game can be described as disturbing, sick, abnormal, and a worrisome looking game. I guess that could be your opinion, but I think Tormentum Dark Sorrow looks amazing. Every area looks like a classic heavy metal album cover coming to life. I'm a metal fan, so this is right up my alley. But what's interesting is that the game's main soundtrack, I wouldn't say is metal, it still fits perfectly as an eerie melody that made the life of the game intense. Alright, so you know how much I like the look, but what is the actual game? At its core, it's a point-and-click game with smaller puzzles blended in to keep things interesting. The puzzles were exactly how I like them in a point-and-click game. Challenging, but not to the point where you feel the guilt to check a guide. The smaller puzzles I mention are pretty straightforward, like moving some cogs around to connect two ends, or figuring out a jigsaw-type puzzle. They're a nice change up from going from place to place. There's also times you'll come across patterns mentioned on signs and other places. This is where the notebook you carry comes in handy. Your character will automatically sketch out the details. Now you can look at this pattern at any time while looking at a puzzle that requires notes. I want to mention this, but I'm not going to spend too much time on it for worry of possibly taking some mystery out of the game from you. Tormentum features some choices throughout the game, and let's just say there is more than one ending. I love the ending I got to this game, and that's all I'm gonna say. You can probably tell that I enjoyed Tormentum Dark Sorrow a lot, but I have some issues I want to bring up. The main one is that I feel there isn't enough options in the game. There's a couple like volume control, language selection, and a full screen mode. One option for monitor resolution would be nice. I would have liked the game to take up more of my monitor. As you can see, there's black around the square of gameplay. I would have liked to have the option to do some sort of zoom in to take up more monitor space. The other option I would have liked is the ability to control the camera and make it stay still for the most part. Whenever you move the mouse, the screen moves a little. It's not a big complaint, but it took me a little time to get used to it. Then the last thing is more of a small annoyance. Every time you pick up an item, it zooms into it. While most of the time this feels right because it goes into more detail, it's not always necessary. When someone would give me an item, it'd just be easier to just pick it up off the ground, than have to zoom in to do it. Also, once you zoom out, you can't zoom back into that area the item was in, so I think it's a little unnecessary. These complaints in no way ruin the game, I just want to make this clear. There are just things I would have liked to see in the game. Final say, I'm positive about Tormentum Dark Sorrow. I gotta recommend it to you if you're a fan of point and click games. I do wish it was longer as it took me 3 hours to beat it, but there is more than one ending. So the replay value is there if you want it. Still, with the artwork, music, puzzles, and story, Tormentum Dark Sorrow gets my approval. Thank you for watching to the end of the review. Please like, subscribe, and keep coming back for more reviews here on Organized Remains.